talk about leaks. Oh, but I don't like leaks. Hi, I'm Lucia. I'm an artist and I love to work with kids. And today we are not going to talk about leaks, but we are going to draw them. I know you like to help grown-ups when it's time to cook, clean the kitchen, wash the dishes, but today we are going to do something more important. We are going to create our own favorite recipe book so that when they will ask, what would you like for dinner? It's easy, it's here. I would like spaghetti with acorn and butterfly jam. This must be squirrel's book. So today we are going to illustrate two favorite recipes of my woodland friends. They are both butterfly jam free and vegetarian. Although in one there is a crocodile but he's mostly asleep. With this video you will find some printables. Two recipes, one cover and some characters cutouts that you might want to use. And now let's begin. We are going to start with one of my favorite recipes, the green jungle soup. And the first thing to do is to put the crocodile to bed. I've done that, the crocodile is sound asleep and now we can start with our drawing. I have here some materials that we might need, of course the recipe. I have the characters cut out that you might want to use or you might prefer drawing along with me. They're both fine. Then I have some paper to draw, colored pencils, some markers. I also cut out some letters from magazines that we might want to use to put the title of the recipe and of course our ingredients for the soup. But the main ingredients we are going to need is our imagination and you will see why. We will think about this recipe as if it was a map. So we are going to use the paper to draw all the journey until we get until the treasure that is of course our green soup. And to start the first thing to do is to take the ingredients in our hand and just try to feel them, just try to touch them and smell them and see what they tell you. For example, this leek is very smooth and it's quite flexible in fact. It's got a very strong smell and uh, if I look at it and if I think what else could it be other than what it is, with my imagination I could think that this is like a bridge. It looks a bit like a bridge, so I think I will draw it on my paper as if it was a bridge. And uh, let's say that if I cut out, if I cut some steps in it with my knife, I can put steps on the bridge. And perhaps I can use some of my characters or one of my characters that is hopping on these steps. Let's see. <laughs> so I can do this and start drawing my leg first thing. I'm going to use a pencil, you can use a marker or actually you can also use paint. And I'm going to start, perhaps I need to leave a little space for the title, so I'm going to start about here, just to draw my leg. A little bit like this and then when I'm here I can start putting the steps in. So we've done this and I think, as I said, I would like to put one of the characters that is hopping like a rabbit because they always like to hop around. And uh, the way to draw the rabbit is basically quite easy. Here's like a soft triangle. So we're going to start drawing it from here. And then it's got two nice ears coming out. We can do the eyes, the nose smiling and then of course we're going to put the feet and his arms. If you didn't want to draw it you could just cut it out from the paper and stuck it in 
and we're going to draw the title here on the side then the next thing in our soup is to take the potatoes and cut them and put them in the pan so if i cut this potato let's see if i can do it here on the paper perhaps i'll just put it on the side with my imagination i could use these potato slices as if they were some steps and just draw them on my page they're quite easy three nice steps and I can see they have some dots on the skin and we want to put this in as details okay and then the next thing that in the recipe we need to do is to add the water so I think that would be nice in this map to draw the water as if it was a waterfall and uh, so I think I'll do like this nice waterfall and I would like to put perhaps another of our characters here near the waterfall and uh, perhaps the frog because frogs really like water so I'm gonna draw the frog just here sliding down the waterfall I'm just gonna put his feet like this going to be very happy to jump around okay let's put a few of these dots in this waterfall we can even add these spinach cubes so they are frozen spinach and uh, they need to be put in the soup after the water so perhaps I will make it so that they are also like stones in a waterfall I will add a little splash of green into it right so spinach cubes and then the last thing is to add pesto which is this nice green sauce and that is made with basil pine nuts and cheese i think i will put it here at the end near where we get to our treasure which is gonna be our soup I'm gonna put the soup here and uh, perhaps I can draw my fox character on the side which is pouring down um, with a little jar some pesto and cream so I think I'll draw here my fox like this and um, yes just pouring down here and then I can do his nice ears and of course we need to put the bottom nose and of course the fox tail fluffy fox tail and then we can draw the jar here hope you can see with a nice handle and coming out from the jar our pesto and why not add a little leaf of basil here coming out perhaps let's put two leaves okay so next thing to do is to put the title up and then we can color it in It was so fun to draw this recipe and now we can put it together in our favorite recipe book soup is ready and we can go and wake up the crocodile the second recipe we are going to draw today is the yummy bunny cake i have here my friend bunny and he can't wait to try the cake as soon as ready and uh, I chose this recipe because it's one of my Woodlands friend favorite. 
And you know why? It's because there is no added sugar. It is nice and sweet, but instead of sugar, it has these little brown things in it, which are called dates, and they are very sweet on their own. I hope you will try it and you will like it as much as we do. But now, let's get into the drawing. We have again all the materials we need. We have the cutouts of the characters that we might want to use. This time I thought we could uh, draw the recipe more like uh, if it was a scene of a book, a little story, a part of a little story. And I took some cutouts from magazines that we might want to use. This time I thought we could do it like a collage. So for the cake recipe, we also have our ingredients. But again, the main ingredient is going to be our imagination. And let's start with the carrots, which are the main ingredient of the cake. These carrots are quite hard and actually quite cold. They don't have a strong scent, just a little fresh smell. And I thought because they are, feel so hard, perhaps I could pretend like if two of my characters are holding the carrot. To do the carrot, I think I could use this nice piece of magazine. I'm gonna cut it out, more or less, in the shape of a carrot. Nice. See if we want to play with it. Put it, I think I'll put it this way. I will use the draw the, the rabbit and the frog that are holding the carrot. I think I'm gonna do the bunny on this side. It's gonna have his ears in the air. And again, it's a little triangle. You know, his legs like this, his tummy, and then we can put his little face smiling there. And then the frog is helping him out. So we can do the arms of the frog. And the frog as well. Walking along. He's got some kind of dots on his tummy and we can put the eyes looking up. Okay. So another ingredient of our recipe is a flour. And I thought we could perhaps pretend that the flour is like sand and put it like here on the ground. For this one, I'm just going to draw a line so that they are actually placed on the ground. And we have this, this is not wine, but it's sunflower oil. Sunflower oil is an important ingredient here. And I thought we could use this interesting yellow and make it into a river that runs through. Here we got the river. Needs a bit more blue. Okay. I also thought that we could with some nice little greenery at the top of the carrot. And the next thing in a recipe is that we are going to soak the dates in a cup of tea, which is, when I read it, I was super excited. And I thought we could draw, like here, we could cut out this. I drew it already at the back, so that was quicker. And I thought we could put so of course there is a cup of tea here, so we're going to make a tea bag sticking out. Nice. There. We have these dates that I thought they could be like juggle, juggling balls, like in a circus. And I can just place them somewhere like this and do the fox making the circus. Let the fox make in the circus. Here we go. So she will juggle all the balls here in the air. Here we go. And now to do the dates, 
I just took some of this brown paper from the magazine and I'm just gonna cut into round balls and we can draw eggs with the shell or without. In my version, I thought I'd like to draw the egg a little bit like this, as if it was the sunshine. And I'm gonna put it on the side, in this space, just around here. And uh, I could use this yellow that I already used, but I found this interesting tennis ball on the magazine and I'm gonna cut it's more like a greenish yellow. See if I can cut a round thing from here, roundish. And I'm gonna leave some white space all around our sun. Because I thought that if I do like this, of course, it will show that it's an egg. I can write the recipe title just in there. Now the cake is ready and we can give the first slice to the bunny. He was waiting so long. <laughs> and so we have started our own favorite recipe book. I put inside my green jungle soup and of course the yummy bunny cake. We truly hope you enjoyed drawing with us together and we hope we can do it again together soon. You know what? I think we lost the crocodile. Squirrel, did you close the gate? <gasps> Watch out, there might be a crocodile around. <laughs>